Hi, John DeWire here, and uh, I am uh, just wanting to stream this because I've had a couple of inquiries from our Facebook Live uh, broadcast that we did last night about websites and uh, about websites that sell and what sort of design sells. And uh, when I was doing my Facebook Live uh, 90 minute last night, which you can watch if you want to scroll onto my Institute of Wow page, um, I was a little sarcastic and said to people that, of course, uh, if you've got a sore tooth, you go to a dentist, and if you're not feeling good uh, and you've got a tummy ache, you go to a doctor. Uh, but I say to them, if you are actually looking for a good website that sells, do not, under any circumstances, go to a website designer. And uh, I'm somewhat tongue-in-cheek, but what I am saying is that most website designers are fantastic artists. Uh, well, when I say fantastic, most of them are very good artists. Um, some of them have man buns and some of them have ponytails, but the fact is is they might be good artists. But they know nothing about marketing, at least the ones I've met know nothing about marketing, particularly direct response marketing. And I wanted to show you how you could put together a very good website uh, that sells, because at the end of the day there's certain components on your website that you need in order for it to sell. And I thought I'd show you a sample. Uh, I'm going to just flip around here. Camera? Okay. There's my computer screen, and that is a website of a company called The Great Australian Squeeze, and that's the home page, I should say. Uh, and I'll just put the camera down there a little bit so you can see my, uh, my screen. And that's what their website was, and of course it was doing nothing for them. Now they were an orchard farm, an orange orchard farm in Victoria, and uh, of course they were not selling the story. They were not selling the story on their home page. And you know that the most important page on your website is the home page. So I'll tell you what we did. Uh, I'll just take rid of that and I'll show you the layout that I put together for them. I said, look, why don't you actually tell a story? Tell everyone that you are an orange orchard, that they can buy direct from the farm, that there are no added sugars, there's no concentrates, there's no imports. Basically tell the story like you would if it was country practice. So that's the layout that I put together. And then when I give it to our direct response website designer, that's what it looks like. Okay, so I'll just come back there and you can see I'll scroll down the screen so you get a bit of a feel for that. This is 100% fresh orange juice direct from the farm. And as we scroll down, there's the granddad in the tractor who started it X number of years ago with the family. And as you fold it down, you'll see that the actual orange bottles take very little real estate because it's not about the plastic bottle. Remember in the, uh, let me just come back. Remember on this one over here, they had the plastic bottle as being the big hero. It's, nobody's going to look at that and go, oh, orange juice in a plastic bottle. I've got to buy orange juice from those people. <laughs> so you'll see here my layout to fix it, uh, and then you'll see exactly what it looks like these days. And uh, the, uh, the results in terms of sales are very significant. I can't break confidentiality and tell you what they are, but they're very significant. Let me show you another one here. This happens to be a seniors holiday tour company. So therefore, they're hosted holidays for people who are in their seniors age group. And uh, so they are chasing uh, a target audience of people in God's waiting room, okay? Now, on the left over here is what their website used to look like. I'll show you an enlargement of that. I think they were chasing people who were living on Mars. I've got no idea what that's about. They're one of the golden rules of advertising, by the way, online or offline, is to show your target audience in your ads. So if you're selling uh, something to fix people's bad backs, and you might be a chiropractor, you show someone rubbing their bad back. Anyway, so therefore, uh, <laughs> Look at that website, oh my goodness. I'm good friends with the owner of this business now because we've made a significant difference to his, to his income, but that's what it looked like. So therefore I got involved and I actually put together a layout and I say, okay, you voted number one seniors uh, hosted holiday tours in Australia and they were voted number one. I asked three people and it was unanimous. Uh, that they're the number one. And then you'll see here, I've got pictures of older people and I've got the buses and the trains and these older people here. Now, we only want rich older people. That's the target audience. You don't want poor people to be going you know, onto this website. They've got no money. They can't catch the bus to the shops, let alone pay thousands to go on a guided tour. So we're after people who live at St. Cree Cove and normally rich people are good looking. Uh, seniors. So therefore, I suggest that we put in good-looking seniors. I'm joking, okay? Please don't take me to the politi political correct um, uh, policeman. Okay, so therefore what we did is that we have a free report so that we've got data capture and we've got t video testimonials and all sorts of things. Let me show you what the transformation looked like on the right here. I'll blow that one up so you can have a look at it. And that's where it is. Okay, so that's what it looks like these days. Voted number one best value. And I'll scroll through so you get a bit of a feel for what it looks like. You'll see that they are very good looking seniors, okay? And uh, they've got teeth and they've got polos with badges on them. Uh, and then we've got a free report. And of course the free report is the three biggest mistakes that people make when they're actually booking a guided tour. And we're doing that to capture data. And of course, then we scroll down and show a Macca's menu board. 
of the uh, you know options that they have when they go on holidays and then we give the three big reasons and three big benefits and so on and so forth now I'll bring that back to my ugly mug for a second I want to tell you what you need to put on your home page of your website uh, and what you need to do is make sure that it's all about engagement you know this Facebook thing this Facebook live thing is nuts it is crazy. Anyone who's watching this right now as a business owner, if you're not doing Facebook Live posts like this, then you're crazy. Now, I was crazy. I was not doing this for a long while, and I just woke up recently because this is insane. Because if I get engagement from you, in other words, I ask you, did you enjoy you know, learning about how to put together a, a homepage that sells rather than just a homepage, and you comment below, oh, JD, good one. My name's John Dwyer, by the way, but I get JD. Okay, so JD, good one, really good content, or uh, lots of laughs. We thought that your seniors' jokes were funny, and, uh, and uh, we think that this is good value. Facebook actually recognises that. The algorithms kick in and they go, hang on, this guy, he thinks he's Bert Newton, he's getting a bit of engagement here. These people are watching his video pretty much, you know, 50% of it at least, and they're hanging around. Uh, they must love his dad jokes and they must love some of the content that he talks about in terms of direct response marketing. We are going to send that Facebook Live post out to more people because the algorithm kicks in and says that you're engaged. And if you get enough engagement, then what happens? Facebook does you a favour for free, for nothing. They just send that out to more people, which means you get more opportunity to sell whatever you're selling. Uh, and by the way, uh, on that note, <laughs> that's a good segue, isn't it? If you want to have a website transformation like this, and you want to know how to attract avalanche traffic to a new website, uh, then you might like to type in below that uh, we've got two programs. That's, we made it very simple in our coaching program. It's called the Institute of Wow. So you can go to the instituteofwow.com and that's where I'm scrolling, by the way, on this page. And uh, you can have a look at a whole lot of website transformations on there. But if you need help, not just with website transformations, but also just you know, getting business, um, then you might like to consider either one of my two programs. We have one which is the private coaching program and it's a few thousand dollars a month so therefore it's normally for businesses that might be doing four maybe five hundred thousand dollars a year and uh, for them to drop thirty six thousand dollars over the year is not a big deal uh, i checked recently on the australian bureau of statistics and the normal pa uh, personal assistant uh, is earning about fifty four thousand dollars average at the moment in australia so to get me and my team, because that's what comes with me, uh, for $36,000 a year, I think there's a better chance of you getting an ROI, getting all this sort of stuff, rather than your PA maybe. I, I think we'd have a better chance of giving you a better return. There's that one, and then there's, a, then there's another program which we have for smaller businesses, so if you're a one-man band or you might be a startup, then uh, it's uh, more affordable, <coughs> excuse me, $500 a month, and that's called the Academy Program. And uh, how you can actually book a call with me or one of my people to talk about this is simply go to, wait for it, here's the plug, uh, bookawowcall.com. There's no AU because we're a massive conglomerate. <laughs> I can't get away with that, we're not. Uh, okay, but it's bookawowcall.com, so write that down. In fact, if anyone's watching this uh, right now and you've got your fingers ready, could you do me a favour, because if I try and do that, I'm a typical man, I can only do one thing at one time, and that's speak to the camera. So if you don't mind, if you could just actually type in for me, www.bookawowcall.com, then anyone else can then do that and book a call with me or anyone my team tomorrow or Monday. Uh, there's a calendar in there where you can just pick a time, so you get to talk to myself or one of my team. Uh, and if it happens to be me, then you'll get extra dad jokes. I'll throw those in uh, as a bonus. But let me get back to this whole website thing. These are the ingredients you want on the home page of your website. Let me just run through them. Number one, you need a problem solution headline. Okay, so have you got a sore back? Well, guess what? I am the solution. I'm the best chiropractor in town, blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh, or it might be, do you want to lose weight and you want to lose X number of kilos within you know, two weeks? Well, guess what? This is where you've come to the right place. So problem solution headline. The second thing you need to do is to uh, have uh, a, a, basically a, an explainer video. So, I mean, we, you're watching this because it's video. If I was typing this out in a blog, which is so yesterday, you wouldn't read it. You just would not read it. You'd move on. So video is the fastest growing component of the internet, and that's why I'm encouraging you to think about doing this thing, Facebook Live, if you've got a business. And remember, when you are on Facebook Live, there's three really important things, and I call it the, en the engagement code. We call it the engagement code in our training programs because we teach you how to do this Facebook Live thing. You don't need to be Bert Newton. You don't have to be Johnny Carson. But what you need to do, what you need to do, 
That'd be interesting. If you're in the nude, depends who you are, of course. Maybe it would work for you. It wouldn't work for me. But anyway, uh, what you need to do, not nude to do, is you need to have three things. Number one, good uh, what I be content, good content. Okay, so therefore you've got to, and you might go or dough, but you've got to on Facebook Live if you want engagement, people commenting below and people sharing it with other people. Oh, by the way, I forgot to plug that. If you've got a friend who owns a business uh, or a relative who owns a business and they think that this direct response, you think this direct response stuff would be pretty good for them, then uh, and they've got a shitty website and you know that they need to get that fixed, then you might like to share this with them. Okay, um, number one, you need good value. Okay, uh, you need to give good value, which means good content. Number two, you need to build rapport. Hopefully I'm getting halfway there, building rapport with you. Um, and then number three, you've got to make an offer. So the three things in Facebook, like it's not walking along the beach uh, after you've just been to the gym with a t-shirt that's two sizes too small. Um, do that if you want to show off your pecs and all that sort of stuff. But if you really want to make money out of Facebook Live, then do what you see happening here. I'm not saying I'm the expert at it, but what I'm saying is that I've been studying this for quite some time, particularly with a lot of the Americans. And the ones that are selling and making money out of Facebook Live have three components. Number one, they actually have great value, okay, and because they're giving great content. Number two, what they do is that they engage you. The magic word for Facebook is engagement. If they see you've got engagement, they will spread your little Tonight Show around the world, right? And number three, of course, make offers. And don't wait to the end like a webinar to make the offer because in this world, the social media world, it's not just the millennials who have the attention span of a goldfish. It's people even my age who are really, really, really old, okay? So therefore, we've all got very short attention. So if you're going to talk about, you know, bookawowcall.com if you want to talk to me tomorrow, uh, then uh, did I say that? Bookawowcall.com. That's about the 16th time I put that in there because you might be coming in and going out. Okay, I know that you wouldn't want to leave here at this point, even to make a cup of tea, you want to hang in there. I'm only going to go for another few minutes, uh, so hang off on the kettle, all right? So therefore, what you've got to do is actually plug whatever you're plugging throughout your little 10 or 15 minutes, whatever it is, because not everyone will stay till the end. That's a sad truth, but it's the case. So therefore, website, homepage. What is the most important page of a magazine? Woman's Day, new idea, the homepage. If they don't have the royal family on that homepage or Jennifer Aniston is having a baby or whatever it may be, you ain't going to buy the new idea. And it's the same thing with your website. And I've got to say to you is that when people come onto our coaching programs, which you can learn about if you go to bookawowcall.com, uh, if they come on, I reckon 80% have awful putrid websites and are disgusting websites because what they've done is they've gone to either a, you know, a, 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 an artist with a man bun uh, or maybe a bearded hipster, that's even worse, they're evil, uh, and they've put together a great website that looks pretty but it won't sell because it just looks pretty. Or they've gone to, the, they've gone to their daughter-in-law or son-in-law who says, I'm a website designer because we all have uh, a relative who's a website designer and they've come up with a crappy website. So the ingredients, and I'll, before I leave, I'll show you another couple of transformations so you get the gist of this. You need a problem solution headline to get their attention, make them sticky. You need a, uh, a, an explainer video, and we can show you where you can get an explainer video done for a very, very reasonable price, okay? So you need an explainer video, and uh, if you are good in front of the camera, you might do the explainer video yourself. If you're shy, um, uh, or if you're short and you can't get up to the camera, whatever the reasons are, you don't want to do it yourself, then people like us can help you. We have all sorts of options. So there's the doodle video option, which you can get done for hundreds of dollars now from the Philippines, and that's very engaging. Or you might just get a voiceover with a carousel slides running past, okay? So it's very simple to put together a compelling explainer video. The next thing you need, of course, is a data capture facility, and that's a free report, or it might be a, a chance to win something. And why are you doing that? Because you want to capture the data. You're having a dinner party. People are coming to your website almost like a dinner party, it's a metaphor, all right? Uh, and so you, don't, you want to make sure you know who's at the dinner party. You see, the NRL Rugby League and the AFL ain't that smart. They had 100,000 people come to their grand final, which was their dinner party. They have no clue who came. <laughs> it's just nuts. The ticketing agency do, but these actual sporting codes have no clue who comes to their sporting functions. That's crazy. This afternoon I did a post and I was saying McDonald's, pretty savvy marketer, but guess what, they've got 1.7 million people go through their restaurants in Australia today, they have no clue who one of them is. Can you believe that? <laughs> when people come to my seminars, I know their blood group, I know their mother's maiden name, so that we can get in and look at their website and do all that sort of pre-preparation stuff before I jump on stage and 
you know, start talking about this sort of stuff. So therefore, it's all about learning about your customer audience, segmenting them, and then being able to market to them based on their age or demographics or their behaviour. And the reason Amazon is wiping everyone out at the moment is because they've been doing that for yonks. And yet if you go to Woolworths, you won't get asked any details of who you are. Go to Coles, they don't give a crap. Uh, go to Bunnings, they don't even give you a, a box. You've got to go get your own box, <laughs> let alone ask you any details. Movie World, Dream World on the Gold Coast, which is where I am, um, you know, they let you come to the little gate to pay your $4 million to take the two children you into Dream World, and they'll ask, wait for it, uh, the little 17-year-old behind the little booth will go, could I have your postcode? And if I'm there with a couple of kids, and our kids are adults now, but when they were younger, I'd say, well, what do you want the postcode for? I've just asked to get the postcode at Dream World. And I went, but wouldn't you want my mobile number and maybe my email address? And and then you could actually market to me. You're not going to find me via a postcode. And then that's when the little 17-year-old girl would say, I'll have to call security if you don't move on. There's a queue a mile. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm... The Lord above has placed me here to do two things, help people fix their businesses and, uh, and get more traffic, and uh, to do it in the most annoying, corny way. So therefore, there's, there's two gifts there I've got. Now, not only do you want to capture data, but you also want to highlight the three biggest benefits. Not two, not four. Don't ask me why not even numbers, but three works better than two or four. So these are the three big benefits. And when I take the screen back to my computer screen in a moment, I'll show you, you'll see it's always the top three benefits. And then what you need are testimonials, preferably video, for all the reasons I've just mentioned. Video is as hot as chips, okay? So therefore, you want to make sure that Esme, who is talking about the uh, Fred, who's just, you know, mowed the lawns, she would say, uh, hello, my name is Esme, and I just want to say that Fred's lawn mowing service is just wonderful. And then she has to say what life was like before Fred and what life's like now. So she will say, oh, you know, Fred was just wonderful. He came out with his whipper snipper and my gardens now look so much better than what they were before. And guess what Fred did? He actually washed the windows on my house before he left. Now, if that's not a wow factor bonus, I don't know what is. Uh, that's magic. What life was like before Fred, what life is like after Fred. And then she says, and not only that, he wore a pair of budgie smugglers and he cleaned my pool. And he's also the father of three of my children. So, joking, all right? So therefore, uh, you want a video testimonial. It, my wife just walked in and she can't believe I'm doing this, but anyway. <laughs> it's my own little TV show, I can do what I like, all right? It's, people can just troll me on here and go, look, that was stupid. We thought you were gonna get marketing advice, you know? Uh, and then, uh, really, a call to action. Okay, so what you want to do is have a call to action. So all of those things, let me just show you before I get out of here and go and get a Chinese takeaway. I think that's what we're doing. Uh, give me a second. I'm just gonna swap the camera. Let me show you another couple of examples before I get out of here, and hopefully this will be inspiring to you because the reason I've done this is because I had a whole stack of questions last night after my little sarcastic 90-minute uh, uh, rant on Facebook Live, and uh, this is a beautiful one. Look, this is a really good one. You wouldn't expect me to say anything else, but uh, this was a opal mine, which is uh, in uh, Lightning Ridge, and that, that was their own page of their website. And Greg, who's the owner of this business, is a good friend of mine now, and so he should be, because I think we've made him a lot of money. Um, he, uh, and he's a great guy, by the way, and he's one of those magic clients that when you give him gold, he actually executes. Isn't it annoying if you're in the advisory business and you give someone a piece of gold and they just sit on their hands? Anyway, so Greg did this. He said to me, look, this is my website. I went, OMG, and uh, he, he said, yeah, not real flash, is it? I said, you'll walk in mine, what is it? He said, oh, well, basically it's, you know, seniors turn up in their caravans and they actually get their little hard hat on with a little torch and they go underground. I said, mate, uh, what happens? He said, oh, it's a tour and they've got little robots down there picking shovels and, you know, it's not quite Pirates of the Caribbean, <laughs> far from it, but it's quite an educational tour. Uh, my response to him uh, looking at the website was, uh, <laughs> I was just dropping off. Uh, I, I can't believe it. I said to him, what did you call your walk-in mine opal thing? And he said, oh, the walk-in mine. I went, oh, my goodness. Anyway, so I said to him, how about we get involved? And so therefore I put together a layout, which you can see in the middle here. We've turned the name of the walk-in mine into the Lost Treasure Opal Mine Adventure and blah, blah, blah. Okay, we had an insured price promotion to give away $50,000, which the insurance company basically gives you for $1,100. That's another uh, Facebook Live. I won't bore you with that at the moment, but for, you can get, when you're part of our life, $50,000 prize for about $1,100 and you can get a $100,000 prize for $2,200. Now, if that doesn't make you want to book a call at, wait for it, a plug, bookawowcall.com, then nothing will. Now, let me just show you what the website looks like these days. 
big big difference okay it's called the opal i'm just adjusting the camera it's called the opal uh adventure mine the lost treasure opal mine adventure and you've got a video there uh and as we scroll down you've got the chance to win fifty thousand dollars because when you come out at the end of that they'll give you a little sand pit to a little scooper and if you bring up an opal then you're in the draw for fifty thousand dollars and you get to keep the opal and then as we come down you'll see there of course it's the uh you know video uh videos telling you what you can do you can go on a town tour an open field blah 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 i won't go through all of it but you can see a vast difference let me just show you the three of them <laughs> okay so that's what was and that's what is uh i won't play the video from the owner because i don't have it handy but uh, this made a significant difference to his business and i'll just show you one more before i get out of here and this is a swimming pool one i won't do close-ups but this is a pool slide sorry not a swimming pool this is what it used to look like over here so this is what it looked like okay that's my sketch to say listen give it some theater give it some pixie dust and then that's what it looks like now so let me just do the before and after this is the before that's what it looked like that's the home page of the website and I will give you my sound effects <laughs> I'm just dropping off okay that was the home page it was not exactly exhilarating and yet we're talking about water slides we're talking about water slides look at the freeze frame for the video that was put together I think by Fred Flintstone in Bedrock, I think in you know, 1928. So therefore that's what it used to look like, uh, about 100 years old, and now what it looks like, I'll bring it up. Do you think that one's gonna sell more pool slides? Well, I've got news for you. A shitload of more pool slides have been sold because we've turned it into Disney World. We've turned it into a water park, okay? And the two owners there are lovely people. And again, just wonderful to have as clients because they do shit. They actually got this and said, yep, just give it to me. We're gonna do that, JD. So therefore, I will bring back uh, the camera to me and say, your uncle JD is telling you that if you've got a shit website, uh, or you've got a website whereby traffic's coming to it, but it's not converting, and you would like to, you'd like your life ch changed. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. Um, hallelujah. You're at the right place. And remember I told you, if you're going to do Facebook Lives like this, you've got to have your offers throughout the whole video. And uh, I've got to go now because my wife is telling me that we've got to get Chinese takeaway and uh, she's hungry apparently and that's more important than us making money, isn't it? Terrific. Uh, so therefore I will get out of here. But again, if you would like to talk to me or one of my people about doing either private coaching or maybe our other program, and again, so that you don't bring up and then waste both our times, the private coaching where essentially I put together uh, your marketing plan, that's normally a 20 or 30 page document and that's put together within 10 days of you coming on board and then you have access to me unlimited so therefore I just become your marketing go-to person so if you don't have a marketing manager and even if you do um, but you don't think he's as good as or she's as good as what I can give then just give them the flick okay just kick them out kick them out just say look I found this guy online he's a little sarcastic and he's a little full of himself but he seems like he might have some stuff here uh, so you might like to yeah yeah just get rid of them okay that's my view if you wanted my opinion and they're not performing just say look take a hike okay don't give them the don't come monday thing i'm joking okay do not come back and go oh it's not fair you're being cruel to our employees but if you're interested in a few grand a month for me to come on and look after all your marketing and uh and i once you give us a call we'll give you a link of course to go through and have a look at what all the inclusions are but it's pretty pretty special uh and if you're not that sort of business where you're not doing four or five hundred k a year and you uh you, you can't afford three grand a month then you might uh, afford the five hundred dollar a month one which of course is uh you don't get as much of me you get enough of me but you don't get as much like unlimited but you get a whole bunch of resources so therefore if any of these things interest you and particular like websites for example people are still paying four five six seven eight ten thousand dollars for a website uh, we get websites done in the Philippines, but to my design, all this stuff that you're seeing at the moment is my design, okay? So we get stuff done in the uh, in the Philippines for a full six-page website for about $1,500. We're talking a full six-page website that's pretty damn sexy, and it's also designed to a direct response format. That's what you want, direct response, okay? This is all about direct response marketing and what I call avalanche leads. So, so therefore, if you're going to pour avalanche leads through Facebook and Instagram advertising, which I have not even touched, that's for another Facebook Live. We have formats where I had one guy uh, recently uh, who we uh, put together a Facebook uh, campaign. This is a pay-per-click campaign. And he had to turn it off in uh, three days. He had two years worth of leads in three days. And the average price of what he was selling was about five grand, $5,000, okay? 
If you think this is valuable and you'd like me to keep doing this sort of stuff, uh, just type JD Valuable or Gold or The Best or something like that to make my head this size. Uh, by the way, it doesn't matter what you put, I'll still do this, so it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, uh, one more time, uh, a, a very, 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 very uh, big plug. Uh, look, book a call, just talk to me. I sound like one of those late night 0055 information. Call me, call me now. I'm out of here, you've heard enough dad jokes, and hopefully you got a lot of good content out of that. Your website is your director of first impressions, so do not have an ugly director of first impressions. Make sure the website looks good, but it's designed, particularly the homepage. That is the big one. If you don't keep them sticky on the homepage, forget your website. And the crazy part about it is that I reckon 80, maybe 90% of people who come into my world, the first thing we need to do is just fix their director of first impressions, which is their website, okay? Um, so I'll leave it at that, guys. I'm off to have a Chinese, and uh, we'll talk soon.